The Power of Thought, How Your Mind Alters the Universe Written by Justice O. Malcolm Published by Audio Books Office Introduction This book is your guide to understanding and harnessing the extraordinary capabilities of your mind. Imagine having the ability to influence your reality, attract positive experiences, and achieve your deepest desires simply through the power of your thoughts. This journey will show you how to transform your life by mastering the incredible force within your mind. Your thoughts are more than transitory notions, they are strong forces that form your world. Every thought you have sends out a vibration that interacts with the universe, influencing the events and experiences that come your way. This book will teach you how to cultivate positive, focused thoughts to align with your goals and manifest your dreams. One of the foundational principles in this book is the connection between your thoughts and the energy you emit. Positive thoughts create positive vibrations, attracting positive outcomes, while negative thoughts do the opposite. By learning to manage and direct your thoughts, you can change your reality and create a life filled with abundance and joy. This book will provide you with practical techniques to raise the vibration of your thoughts and attract the life you desire. Visualization is a key technique you will explore. By clearly envisioning your goals as already accomplished, you send an important message to the universe, starting the wheels in motion to make your vision a reality. This book will guide you through effective visualization exercises, helping you create clear, detailed mental images of your desired outcomes. Positive words are another powerful tool that you'll learn about. Positive affirmations are statements that reinforce your goals and beliefs. When repeated consistently, they can reprogram your subconscious mind, replacing limiting beliefs with empowering ones. You'll discover how to craft and use positive words to support your journey toward your dreams. Awareness and meditation also play crucial roles in mastering the power of thought. These practices help you become more aware of your thoughts, allowing you to consciously choose those that serve your highest good. This book will teach you easy self-awareness and meditation techniques that can improve your mental clarity, reduce stress, and boost your general sense of calm and well-being. Examples from real life and instances of accomplishment will show how the power of thinking has changed the lives of others. The examples provided will inspire and motivate you, demonstrating that no matter where you start, you have the ability to make a positive difference in your life. Learning from others' experiences allows you to apply their suggestions and strategies to your own journey. As you read The Power of Thought, you will set forth on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. This book is designed to be clear and easy to understand, providing you with practical steps and techniques to apply in your daily life. Whether you are new to these concepts or looking to deepen your understanding, you will find valuable information that resonates with you. Remember, the power of thought is within your grasp. By mastering your thoughts, you can alter your reality and create a life of abundance, joy, and fulfillment. Welcome to this transformative journey. Imagine you're holding the key to reshaping your universe, not in a physical sense, but through the invisible force of your mind. In this step-by-step -step guide, we'll unravel the mysterious power of thought, exploring the science behind it and how it subtly alters your reality. You'll uncover techniques such as affirmations and visualization, learn to overcome limiting beliefs, and understand the impact your thoughts have on your emotions and actions. As we journey together, you'll be amazed at the extent of your mind's influence, leaving you enthusiastic to harness this extraordinary power. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We notice that 72% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and liking the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Chapter 1. Mind's Influence on Reality Certainly your mind possesses an immense power to shape your reality, a concept we'll explore in detail in this section. From a scientific perspective, your mind doesn't just perceive reality, it creates it. 
This construction of reality is a product of cognitive processing the way your brain interprets and assigns meaning to sensory information. This process begins with perception, which is the brain's interpretation of the sensory input it receives. You don't see things as they are, but as your mind interprets them to be. Your perception is based on past experiences, beliefs, and expectations, all of which shape the way you view the world. The second step in this process is cognition, or thinking. Your thoughts build upon your perceptions, adding an extra layer of interpretation. These thoughts help you make sense of the world and guide your future actions and decisions. Essentially, they create your reality. Furthermore, your emotional responses to your thoughts also play an important role in shaping reality. Emotions are your mind's response to your thoughts and perceptions, and they can profoundly influence your actions and behaviors. Simply put, what you feel about what you think can alter your reality. Chapter 2. Thoughts as Invisible Forces Expanding on the power of the mind, it's intriguing to ponder your thoughts as invisible forces that fundamentally shape your reality. You're not merely a passive observer of your circumstances, but rather an active participant in their creation. Every thought you form serves as a catalyst, setting off a chain reaction of energy vibrations within the universe. Your thoughts, despite being invisible and intangible, exert an undeniable influence on shaping your world. Let's liken your mind to a broadcasting station, transmitting frequencies into the universe. These frequencies, unique to each thought, interact with the energies present in the environment. It's akin to dropping a pebble into a pond, which creates ripples that extend far beyond the initial point of contact. The most fascinating aspect of this process is that these thought frequencies aren't random. They're directly influenced by the quality of your thoughts. Positive, empowering thoughts generate higher frequencies that attract favorable circumstances. Conversely, negative, disempowering thoughts produce lower frequencies that attract unfavorable conditions. Moreover, these thought frequencies aren't confined to your personal environment. They extend into the collective consciousness, subtly influencing the thoughts and actions of those around you. This concept is central to the study of thought power, revealing how each individual's thoughts contribute to shaping collective reality. Chapter 3 Scientific Evidence of Thought Power While it may seem like a concept out of a science fiction novel, there's a wealth of scientific evidence supporting the power of thought. A plethora of studies have shown that our thoughts can indeed affect physical matter. For instance, Japanese scientist Masaru Emoto's famous water experiment demonstrated that positive thoughts influenced water crystals to form beautiful, symmetrical patterns, while negative thoughts resulted in disordered and chaotic shapes. Yet, it's not just abstract substances that are affected. Your brain, the epicenter of thought, also undergoes changes based on your thoughts. Neuroplasticity, or the brain's ability to rewire itself, is a well-established scientific fact. When you repeatedly think certain thoughts, they form neural pathways in your brain. The more you think about these thoughts, the stronger these pathways become, shaping your brain structure. This is why habits, both good and bad, become so ingrained they're fundamentally wired into your brain. Furthermore, research in quantum physics suggests that our thoughts might even influence the world around us on a subatomic level. Human consciousness might have an impact on quantum entanglement, a phenomenon where particles connect and affect one another's states. This isn't yet fully understood, but it's a fascinating area of current research. Chapter 4 Placebo Effect and Belief In the domain of mind over matter, the placebo effect serves as a powerful proof of the influence of belief on our physical well-being. You've probably heard of this phenomenon, where an inactive substance or treatment, often a sugar pill, is given to a patient who then experiences an improvement in their condition. This isn't due to any inherent medicinal properties, rather, 
the patient's belief in the treatment's effectiveness triggers their body's healing mechanisms. The placebo effect is a tangible manifestation of the power of belief, but it's not an illusion or trickery. It's grounded in hard science. When you believe a pill will help you, your brain releases chemicals like endorphins, the body's natural painkillers, and dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with feelings of reward and pleasure. These can create real, measurable changes in your bodily functions, such as reduced pain and symptoms, lower stress levels, and even an improved immune response. This effect, however, isn't limited to medical treatments. It extends to various areas of life as well. Believing that you can succeed in a task, overcome a challenging situation, or reach a certain goal can trigger similar physiological responses, aiding in your success. The placebo effect is a demonstration of the mind's influence on the body, explicitly showing that what we believe can have a profound impact on our physical state. It underscores the power of positive thinking, affirming that your mind can indeed alter your universe. Chapter 5 Neuroplasticity and Thought Patterns You've now witnessed the influence of belief, but let's explore the concept of neuroplasticity, a process that allows the brain to alter its structure and function based on repeated thoughts and experiences. Neuroplasticity is the brain's amazing ability to reorganize itself, forming new connections between neurons as you learn and experience new things. Think of your brain as a dense forest. Each thought or experience is like a path through that forest. When you repeat a thought or an experience, the path becomes more well-trodden, wider and easier to travel. This is how habits and beliefs form. Negative thoughts, if repeated, carve out a neural pathway that makes it easier to think those thoughts again. But the beauty of neuroplasticity is that it works both ways. Just as negative thoughts can create a pathway, positive thoughts can do the same. By deliberately focusing on positive thoughts, you can create and reinforce new neural pathways. Your thoughts constantly shape your brain, which is a dynamic, evolving organ rather than a static, unchanging entity. Neuroplasticity is the scientific basis for the power of thought. It's the tangible process by which your thoughts can literally reshape your brain and, by extension, your perception of and interaction with the world. Understanding neuroplasticity underscores the importance of thought control. It's the science that proves you're not a victim of your brain, rather, you're its architect. Chapter 6 Mastering Your Thought Universe Harnessing the Power of Neuroplasticity It's time to explore the art of mastering your thought universe, a domain where you hold the reins and can consciously direct your thoughts towards positivity and growth. This isn't about mere positive thinking, it's about understanding the science of thought and manipulating it for your benefit. Thoughts are powerful tools. Like an architect using a blueprint, your brain uses your thoughts to shape your reality. This is due to the brain's inherent neuroplasticity, its ability to restructure and adapt based on input. When you focus on a thought, you're directing your brain to form new connections, reinforcing that concept in your neural network. While neuroplasticity is a natural phenomenon, you can take control of this process. This is where the art of mastering your thought universe comes into play. You need to monitor and guide your thoughts, focusing on those that foster growth and positivity. By consciously choosing to dwell on positive thoughts and ideas, you're instructing your brain to build stronger connections supporting these thoughts, thereby creating a more positive mental environment. However, this isn't an overnight process. It requires patience, consistency, and practice. You may encounter negative thoughts along the way, but the key is to acknowledge them without dwelling on them, then consciously shift your focus to something positive. Mastering your thought universe is a powerful skill. It's about understanding the scientific process behind thought formation and directing it towards positivity and growth. With practice, you can harness this incredible power and shape your reality. Chapter 7 Affirmations and Self-Talk 
Drawing on the power of your thought universe, it's vital to understand the role of affirmations and self-talk, two potent tools that can greatly influence your mental environment. Affirmations are positive comments repeated to oneself with the intention of altering negative thoughts and self-perceptions. Self-talk, on the other hand, is the ceaseless stream of unspoken thoughts that run through your head every day. Scientifically, affirmations and self-talk can alter your brain's neural pathways. Your brain's neuroplasticity, its ability to change and adapt, allows it to rewire itself in response to your thoughts and experiences. When you engage in positive self-talk and affirmations, you're effectively training your brain to create stronger, more positive neural pathways. This isn't just a mental exercise, it's a process rooted in neuroscience and psychology. For instance, consider the concept of cognitive restructuring in cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. It's a therapeutic process that helps individuals challenge and change their negative thought patterns. Affirmations and self-talk have a similar effect. By consciously choosing your thoughts, you can start to alter your perceptions and responses to situations, ultimately impacting your emotional state and behavior. To maximize the power of affirmations and self-talk, it's important to be mindful of your thoughts. Regularly tune into your internal dialogue and take note of any recurring negative thoughts. Once identified, these can be consciously replaced with positive affirmations, thereby reshaping your thought patterns, emotional responses, and realities. Chapter 8 Thought Vibrations and Frequencies Building on the power of affirmations and self-talk, it's equally important to understand the concept of thought vibrations and frequencies and their impact on your mental environment. Your thoughts vibrate at specific frequencies, just like sound and light do. These thought frequencies can influence your physical and emotional state, and by extension, your reality. Current scientific understanding affirms that everything in the universe, including your thoughts, is made up of energy. Hence, your thoughts aren't isolated in your mind, they're energy waves that can affect your surrounding environment. This idea, grounded in quantum physics, emphasizes that your thoughts are far more potent than you may believe. Your positive thoughts vibrate at high frequencies, creating a more harmonious mental environment, whereas your negative thoughts vibrate at lower frequencies, fostering a discordant mental state. It's easy to visualize this concept using water as an analogy. When you drop a pebble into a calm pond, ripples spread out across the water. Similarly, your thoughts create ripples in the energy field of your mind. Positive, high-frequency thoughts create smooth, harmonious ripples, while negative, low-frequency thoughts create turbulent, chaotic ripples. Chapter 9 Subconscious Mind Programming Exploring the domain of subconscious mind programming, it's crucial to grasp that your subconscious mind is a powerful tool, constantly absorbing information and influencing your behavior and decisions, often without your conscious awareness. Delving deeper, your subconscious mind operates below your level of conscious thinking, like an automated program. It's continuously recording and processing every experience and sensation you encounter. It's your subconscious mind that shapes your habits, attitudes, and reactions, driven by the information absorbed over time. Yet the subconscious mind isn't just a passive receptacle. It's also a dynamic force that can be programmed or reprogrammed by repeated thoughts and actions. Think of it as a fertile garden, where whatever seeds you plant, whether they're thoughts of success or failure, will eventually grow and bear fruit. The programming of your subconscious mind starts at an early age. From birth to about seven years old, your brain operates significantly in a theta state, making it highly receptive to external stimuli. This period is critical in shaping your belief system, your perceptions, and your behaviors. Understanding subconscious mind programming is the first step in harnessing the power of thought. By consciously feeding your subconscious with positive thoughts and affirmations, you can replace old, limiting beliefs with new, empowering ones. 
It's a process of mental cultivation and refinement that requires patience and persistence. But, when done correctly, the results can be life-changing. Chapter 10 Overcoming Limiting Beliefs Breaking free from the chains of limiting ideas requires acknowledging that these ingrained thought patterns are frequently the most significant impediments to realizing your full potential. Limiting beliefs, deeply embedded in your subconscious mind, can dictate your reality and impede your ability to alter your universe with the power of thought. Scientifically, the brain operates under the influence of synaptic pathways. These are like neural highways that form and strengthen over time based on your experiences, thoughts, and beliefs. When you repeatedly entertain a limiting belief, you're basically paving a well-worn path in your brain, making it easier to fall into the trap of negative thinking. You can, however, overcome these limiting beliefs. Acknowledging them is the first step. Identifying the root cause of a belief is often enlightening as it can stem from past experiences or learned behaviors. Once identified, you can challenge these beliefs by questioning their validity and relevance to your current life. Next, replace these negative beliefs with empowering ones. This isn't about mere positive thinking, but constructing an empowering belief system that supports your goals and aspirations. Chapter 11. Attracting Abundance and Success Having equipped yourself with powerful, self-empowering beliefs, you're now ready to harness the power of thought to attract abundance and success into your life. The science behind this concept, often referred to as the law of attraction, is rooted in quantum physics. According to quantum physics, our thoughts and emotions create vibrational frequencies, which attract similar frequencies from the surrounding world. Simply put, like attracts like. So, if you're focused on abundance and success, you're more likely to attract people with these same qualities. This means that your mind, through the power of thought, can become a magnet for prosperity. To effectively utilize this power, it's important to understand how it operates. Your subconscious mind isn't able to distinguish between what's real and what's imagined. When you visualize success or abundance, your subconscious mind interprets this as reality. It triggers a chemical reaction in your body that aligns with these thoughts, thereby attracting what you're focusing on. However, it's not enough to simply think about abundance. You must also feel it as if it's already a reality. This feeling state is what amplifies your vibrational frequency, making it stronger and more attractive to the universe. Chapter 12. Healing Through Mind Power when exploring the field of healing, it's important to recognize that your mind has strong healing capabilities, which psychoneuroimmunology strongly supports. This branch of study looks into the relationship between psychological processes and the neurological and immunological systems of the human body. The mind-body connection isn't just a metaphysical concept, it's a scientific reality. Stress, for instance, can negatively impact your immune system making you more susceptible to illness. Conversely, positive thoughts and emotions can enhance your immune response, promoting healing and well-being. So how can you harness this power? It all begins with mindfulness and awareness of your thoughts and feelings. This awareness allows you to actively shift negative thought patterns towards more positive, healing ones. Mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, MBCT, has been demonstrated to reduce stress while also improving mental and physical health. Visualization is another powerful tool. The brain doesn't differentiate well between what's real and what's imagined. By visualizing your body's healing, you're essentially tricking your brain into believing it's already happening. This can stimulate your immune system, accelerating the healing process. The power of thought and emotion can also be leveraged through techniques like biofeedback and hypnosis. These methods allow you to consciously control bodily functions typically considered automatic, such as heart rate or blood pressure. By gaining control over these functions, you can directly influence your body's healing capabilities. Chapter 13 
Collective Consciousness and Thought Exploring the concept of collective consciousness and how our shared thoughts can shape our reality goes beyond the individual mind. It's not just about what you alone think, but also the cumulative effect of what we as a society or group believe. This concept, which can be traced back to the theories of philosophers, such as Carl Jung, posits that there's a shared pool of knowledge, experience and understanding that transcends individual perception. Consider, for example, the phenomena of social norms and cultural beliefs. These aren't the products of a single mind but of collective agreement and understanding. They can affect our behavior, our values, and even our physical reality, yet they're the product of collective thought, not individual cognition. From the perspective of neuroscience, collective consciousness could be seen as a form of emergent behavior, a pattern that emerges from a large number of simple interactions. As individual neurons in your brain interact and communicate, they form a greater whole that's your consciousness. In a similar manner, as individuals in a society interact and share ideas, a collective consciousness can emerge. It's essential then, to recognize that our thoughts aren't just shaping our individual lives, but also our collective reality. By understanding this, you can begin to see the power that our collective thoughts hold and how they can alter the universe through an invisible force. This is the essence of the power of thought at a collective level. Chapter 14 Quantum Physics and Thought Now, Let's shift our gaze from the domain of collective consciousness to the fascinating world of quantum physics and its connection with our thoughts. Quantum physics, a domain where particles may exist in multiple states simultaneously until observed, opens up intriguing possibilities about how our thoughts might impact reality. Consider the double slit experiment, a cornerstone of quantum physics. Tiny particles, like photons or electrons, are fired at a barrier with two slits. Without observation, these particles behave as though they've traveled through both slits simultaneously, creating an interference pattern on the screen behind. But when we observe which slit the particle passes through, it behaves as if it only went through one. This is what's known as wave-particle duality, the idea that particles can behave as both particles and waves. Importantly, the act of observation seems to collapse the wave function into a definite state. So what does this mean for our thoughts? The implication is that, at the quantum level, observation and, by extension, consciousness can influence reality. Some propose that our thoughts, which involve electrical signals in the brain, might interact with the quantum world to shape our perceptions and experiences. However, the quantum mind theory is highly controversial. The connection between quantum physics and thought remains largely speculative, with much more research needed. Quantum physics may not provide a definitive answer to how our thoughts shape reality, but it certainly offers tantalizing hints. Chapter 15. Thoughts and Emotional States Moving from quantum physics, let's contemplate how your thoughts directly impact your emotional states establishing the tone for your daily experiences and overall well-being. Thoughts aren't abstract entities, they're concrete, producing measurable electrical impulses in your brain. These impulses trigger the release of hormones and neurochemicals, which in turn elicit specific emotional responses. Let's illustrate this with an example. When you perceive a threat, your brain sends a distress signal, triggering the production of adrenaline and cortisol. These chemicals cause your heart rate to accelerate, your breathing to quicken, and your senses to heighten the state we typically refer to as fear or anxiety. On the other hand, when you encounter a pleasurable stimulus, your brain prompts the release of chemicals like dopamine and serotonin. These create feelings of pleasure, satisfaction, or happiness. In essence, your thoughts, whether consciously or subconsciously processed, directly dictate your emotional state. It's critical to note that the brain's neuroplasticity allows for the development of thought patterns. If you frequently engage in negative thinking, your brain will become wired to produce stress hormones more readily. 
Conversely, positive thinking can reinforce neural pathways associated with happiness and contentment. Chapter 16 Creative Visualization Exercises Understanding the profound influence thoughts have on our emotional states, it's only natural we turn our attention towards creative visualization exercises that harness this power to manifest desired outcomes. Creative visualization is a cognitive process where you generate visual imagery in your mind, picturing yourself in desired situations or achieving desired goals. It's like training your subconscious mind to focus on the outcomes you want. The process of creative visualization is straightforward. First, you need to define your goal clearly. It's important to be specific and detailed. Next, you need to find a quiet, comfortable place where you can focus your mind without distractions. Then, close your eyes and start to visualize your goal as vividly as possible. Try to involve all your senses. See the image, hear the sounds, feel the emotions associated with the achievement of the goal. The science behind creative visualization lies in the concept of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to form and reorganize synaptic connections, especially in response to learning or experience. When you repeatedly visualize a specific outcome, your brain forms new neural pathways that reflect that image. Over time, these pathways become stronger and more efficient, effectively rewiring your brain to make the visualized outcome more likely. Chapter 17 Mind-Body Connection The mind-body link is often neglected, but it plays an important part in our general health and well-being, acting as a potent bridge between our ideas and physical responses. This connection isn't merely philosophical or metaphysical, it's underpinned by concrete physiological processes, bridging the gap between the intangible world of thoughts and the tangible world of bodily reactions. From a neurological perspective, your thoughts trigger electrical impulses in your brain. These impulses travel through your nervous system, causing physical reactions. For example, when you are anxious, your body produces stress hormones, which cause physical symptoms such as elevated heart rate and perspiration. Your thoughts can also influence your immune system. Studies show that chronic stress, often stemming from negative thoughts, can weaken your immune response, making you more susceptible to illnesses. Conversely, positive emotions can boost your immune function, promoting health and resilience. The mind-body connection also extends to your behaviors. Your thoughts can shape your actions, which in turn affect your physical health. For example, if you think you're incapable of resisting junk food, you're more likely to indulge, eventually impacting your physical health. In essence, the mind-body connection illustrates the power of thought on health outcomes. Acknowledging this connection can empower you to take active control of your health. By consciously choosing positive thoughts and managing stress, you can harness your mind's potential to foster physical wellness. Chapter 18. Intuition and Inner Guidance Tapping into your intuition, that gut feeling or inner voice, can be a valuable guide in harnessing the power of thinking, providing subtle indications about your mental and emotional health. Scientists believe that intuition is an outcome of rapid cognition, a process where the brain uses past experiences and cues from the self and the environment to make a decision. It's a subconscious process, and while it can be misleading, it's often fairly accurate. Intuition isn't some mystical power. It's a result of your brain's intricate workings, a demonstration of the complexity of neural processes. It's an internal compass that you've been honing since birth, a collection of cognitive patterns and experiential data that your brain uses to make predictions about what's happening or what might happen next. To use your intuition effectively, you need to learn how to listen to it. That starts with understanding your feelings. Feelings are the language of intuition. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. But remember, intuition is a tool, not a master. It's one part of the decision-making process, not the entire thing. Chapter 19 Synchronicities and Manifestation 
While your intuitive inner compass offers guidance, another significant aspect of harnessing the power of thought lies in recognizing synchronicities and mastering the art of manifestation. Synchronicities, as termed by Carl Jung, are meaningful coincidences that occur when the inner world of your thoughts and the outer world of reality intersect. They aren't mere random occurrences, but signs that you're on the right path, aligning with your desired reality. Manifestation, on the other hand, is an active process where you deliberately use your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs to attract what you want. It's based on the principle of like attracts like, a concept rooted in quantum physics suggesting that everything, including your thoughts, emits a certain energy frequency. Now, let's explore how these two concepts work together. When you set a clear purpose and focus your thoughts on it, you begin vibrating at a frequency that corresponds to your intended outcome. This frequency then attracts similar energies, creating synchronicities that act as affirmations from the universe that you're on the right track. But remember, manifestation isn't about forcing the universe to grant your wishes. It's about aligning yourself with the universe's natural flow and allowing it to guide you to your desired outcome. It's a dance with the universe, where your thoughts lead and synchronicities respond, creating a harmonious flow between your inner and outer worlds. Pay attention to these synchronicities. They're not just coincidences, but powerful tools for manifestation, helping you shape your reality with the power of your thoughts. Chapter 20. Overcoming Fear and Doubt. In the journey of harnessing the power of thought, fear and doubt can serve as significant roadblocks, hindering your ability to fully align with the universe's flow and manifest your desires. Fear, a primitive survival mechanism, often clouds judgment and limits your perception. Doubt, on the other hand, is a cognitive response that questions your capabilities and undermines your confidence. The scientific community acknowledges these as psychological barriers that can disrupt the positive energy flow necessary for the mind-altering process. To overcome fear, you must first understand its source. Fear arises from either real or imagined threats and can be conditioned through past experiences. By recognizing the triggers, you can consciously choose to respond to fear differently. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT suggests the method of exposure, where you gradually expose yourself to the object of fear, thereby desensitizing the emotional response. Doubt, a product of uncertainty, can be addressed by enhancing self-efficacy, the belief in one's ability to accomplish tasks. Psychological research posits that self-efficacy can be improved by mastering experiences, observing others, and receiving positive feedback. By building resilience and cultivating self-belief, you can effectively counteract doubt. Chapter 21. Cultivating Positive Thought Habits Once you've managed to conquer fear and doubt, it's time to shift your focus towards cultivating positive thought habits. This process isn't purely about being perpetually cheerful. It's a well-calibrated strategy that empowers you to change your thought patterns and reshape your reality. The science behind this is intriguing. The neuroplasticity of your brain, its ability to change and adapt, means you can train it to default to more positive patterns. The key is repetition. Just as a river carves a course across the landscape, repeated thoughts carve neural pathways in the brain. Start by conscious recognition. Identify negative thought patterns. These are often subconscious, buried under years of conditioning. When you catch yourself thinking negatively, don't berate yourself. Instead, objectively acknowledge the thought, then replace it with a positive one. Next, practice gratitude. Gratitude has been scientifically demonstrated to increase happiness. Start a thankfulness diary and make it a daily habit to note down what you are grateful for. This technique teaches your brain to focus on the good parts of your life resulting in a more optimistic thought pattern. Chapter 22. Meditation and Mindfulness 
Exploring the power of your mind truly begins when you immerse yourself in the domains of meditation and mindfulness. These practices require dedication, but they offer profound rewards, including improved mental clarity, enhanced focus, and heightened emotional stability. Meditation, in scientific terms, is a type of mental training designed to enhance your awareness and attention. It's a practice that's been shown to increase gray matter in the brain's prefrontal cortex, an area responsible for executive functions like decision-making, attention, and self-awareness. When you meditate, you're essentially giving this part of your brain a rigorous workout, strengthening its ability to guide your thoughts and actions. Mindfulness, on the other hand, is a psychological process that involves bringing one's attention to the present moment without judgment. It's about perceiving the world as it is, without the filters of past experiences or future expectations. This condition of being has been associated to reduced stress and anxiety, improved mood, and more overall life satisfaction. In essence, meditation and mindfulness serve as the gym and personal trainer for your mind. They're essential tools in harnessing the power of your thoughts, and they're the key to tapping into the potential of your mind to influence the universe. Chapter 23 Mind Power in Relationships How about harnessing the power of your mind to impact your relationships positively? It's not as far-fetched as it might sound. In fact, neuroscience research has shown that our thoughts can greatly influence our interpersonal relationships. Your conscious thoughts the ones you're aware of, and your subconscious thoughts, those that operate below the level of conscious awareness, both play essential roles in your relationships. When you consciously think positive thoughts about a person, you're more likely to behave positively towards them, fostering a healthier relationship. On the other hand, your subconscious mind can harbor negative thoughts or biases that could harm your relationships. For instance, Subconscious insecurities or fears can trigger defensive behaviors that push people away. However, you can change these subconscious thought patterns through cognitive behavioral techniques and awareness of your thought processes. Remember, thoughts are like seeds. What you plant, you'll harvest. If you feed your mind with positive thoughts, you'll yield positive emotions and behaviors. This includes empathy, understanding, and kindness, all of which are key to successful relationships. With practice and patience, you can use the power of your mind to improve your relationships. The process isn't immediate, and it requires consistent effort. But the reward a healthier, more fulfilling relationship is certainly worth it. In the next section, we'll explore further how you can use visualization techniques to enhance the power of your mind. But for now, acknowledge the tremendous potential within your mind and start sowing seeds of positivity in your relationships. Chapter 24 Visualization Techniques As you explore the power of thought, understanding visualization techniques becomes essential. You'll learn how to vividly engage your senses in mental rehearsal practices and visualize desired outcomes to drive success. Overcoming limiting beliefs and combining affirmations with visualization can greatly enhance your mental prowess. Why not harness the power of your mind and start visualizing your desired outcomes? Visualization is a powerful mental tool that taps into your subconscious mind, activating its innate ability to materialize your goals into reality. To achieve effective visualization, it's important to form a clear, precise image of your desired outcome in your mind. Picture it in as much detail as you can muster, infusing it with emotions and senses. The more vivid your mental image, the stronger your subconscious mind's ability to work towards realizing it. However, remember that visualization isn't just about seeing. It's also about feeling. Immerse yourself in the emotion of achieving your goal. Feel the joy, the pride, the satisfaction. This emotional engagement is what fuels your subconscious mind, amplifying the power of visualization. Scientifically, visualization works by activating your brain's reticular activating system, RAS, the network responsible for alertness and focus. 
By consistently visualizing your desired outcome, you're training your RAWs to recognize opportunities and resources that'll help bring your goal to fruition. To maximize the effects of visualization, you need to practice mental rehearsal techniques that can reinforce your mind's capacity to manifest your goals. Mental rehearsal is a methodical approach where you're fundamentally rehearsing the future you desire in your mind's eye. Scientifically, mental rehearsal is the act of generating neural patterns in your brain, creating a new level of mind that matches your envisioned future. By repeatedly engaging in this practice, you're conditioning your brain to perceive this imagined reality as the actual reality. This is conceivable because the human brain cannot distinguish between a strongly imagined experience and a real one. Understand that this isn't about wishful thinking. It's a disciplined practice that requires consistency and focus. You've got to mentally rehearse your desired future until the image is as clear, detailed, and tangible as possible. It's a process of incrementally cultivating the imagery, layering in more details with each repetition. In the domain of mental rehearsal, engaging your senses vividly is a pivotal technique that can greatly enhance the quality of your visualizations. This immersive practice is grounded in neuroscience, specifically the principle of neuroplasticity, which pertains to your brain's malleability and its ability to form new neural pathways based on experiences. To employ this technique, you'll need to tap into all five senses sight, sound, touch, taste, and smell. Don't just see your intentions, feel them, taste them, smell them, and hear them. The goal is to create a multisensory experience in your mind that mirrors the reality you want to manifest. For instance, if you're visualizing a beach vacation, don't just picture the ocean, feel the sand between your toes, taste the salty sea air, hear the waves crashing, and smell the sunscreen. This method takes your visualization beyond mere daydreaming. By engaging your senses vividly, you're not only making your mental rehearsal more realistic, but also forging stronger neural connections. This reinforces the power of your thoughts, enhancing their capacity to alter your universe from the invisible force. Harnessing the power of your mind to overcome limiting beliefs requires an understanding of specific visualization techniques that can help rewire your brain. Visualization is a cognitive tool accessing your imagination to create mental scenarios. This isn't mere daydreaming, it's a deliberate, structured process of imagining yourself achieving your goal, breaking through your limiting beliefs. Neurological research shows that our brains respond similarly whether we're experiencing an event or just visualizing it. This principle, known as Hebb's Law, states that neurons that fire together wire together the more you mentally rehearse overcoming your limitations, the stronger those neural pathways become. Let's focus on three core techniques. First, detailed visualization. Picture yourself achieving your goal in vivid detail. Second, emotive visualization attach strong positive emotions to your imagined success. Blending affirmations with visualization techniques can turbocharge your mental conditioning, enabling you to reshape your thought patterns more swiftly and deeply. Visualization is the mental act of creating vivid images that encapsulate your desired outcome, while affirmations are positive statements that reinforce your vision. When you combine these two potent tools, you're effectively doubling your mind's capacity for influence. You're not just stating a desire, you're creating a mental image that leaves a lasting impression on your subconscious mind. This image serves as a regular reminder of your objective and reinforces your intention. Scientifically, this is a form of cognitive reconditioning. You're training your brain to accept your desired future as a tangible reality. The more your application, the stronger your neural connections get, reinforcing your belief. This, in turn, increases the likelihood of your thoughts manifesting into reality. So, you've journeyed with me through the unseen cosmos of your mind, eh? You've danced with neurons, flirted with quantum physics, and high-fived positive energy. You've peeked behind the curtain of reality and discovered it's you pulling the strings. Now, don't just sit there like a lab rat who's cracked the maze. 
Use these tools, stir the pot of the universe, and cook up your dreams. After all, you're the maestro of your mind's symphony. Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.